stays so minty fresh all the time. I'm really sorry that Craig's chewing gum during chewing this gum? Who would do um, that? video. Ugh. It's weird. It's weird. I always look at, I'm looking at myself and the camera's over there. I know. All right. We'll hey, everyone. Thank you for staying with us on a live late Friday afternoon time. Yeah, sorry. It's an hour later than when I posted on Facebook earlier. Yay. It's That's how Nicole's day's running today. Mine? Smooth. It's the ending to a long week. Yeah, smooth, uh-huh. So we were discussing this before we ever got live. Um, I think my... Craig, it looks like Craig dyed his hair. I just want to say for the record, does everybody believe with me? I have never dyed my hair. Let's take a poll below. Um, it looks very dark today for some reason, and I'm it not looks, sure why. I actually thought you meant it looked lighter today. No, it looks it darker. It does look kind of shiny today. Yeah, it looks kind of darker. I'm like reddish. First of all, if I dyed my hair, I wouldn't be embarrassed or sh ashamed or shy about it. Oh, no. I, I like, I like I attention. Have you guys seen my phone case? Like, you think I'm not worried about or not wanting attention all of a sudden? I had dark brown hair for like three days last week, and then I highlighted it. So, hey. All right, all well, thanks. Hey, uh, yeah, sorry for that, everyone. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. It's, Back to the real show. It's like our uh, pre-show, remember? He yeah. keeps wanting a video of the pre-show. The pre-show is a lot of fun. You guys would enjoy that. pre-show is a lot of fun. But Nicole has a truck driver mouth, so she's constantly swearing. Yeah. So we can't air it. So Nicole? Is it only Nicole? Yeah. I've never used a curse word. Uh-huh. I don't want to get cursed. Uh-huh. All right. We got a great show. We're very excited about this topic because it's all Nicole. None? Is it? No, I'm just kidding. Five ways to differentiate yourself... Or team. Or team from your competition. Yep. Number five, pre-market your new listings. This is something that's become very popular and controversial with some brokers. Yes. Some brokers hate listings, you know, on Facebook and, and talking about them before. But <coughs> I think if we're doing what's in the best interest of the client, yeah. and it's better to get more exposure like that in a, in a crazy seller's market like we're in right now, mm -hmm. I don't know. Can't hate on it. Yeah, pre-marketing your new listings by maybe doing a video in front of the house and just saying this one's coming soon or something like that um, is definitely, I think, beneficial for your sellers and Can for you. Wave? Can we wave to people? Is that? Yeah, I guess. Well, let's wave, wave to Misty. Oh, sorry, Misty. I, I lost your wave here. All right, well. well. Whatever. Nobody can see that, though, so. Oh, you, that's right. You guys can't see the screen. <laughs> it always blocks my face all the time when it shows everybody's coming on. Watching you Whoa, from 20,000 feet. on a feet. plane watching What? Us. Wow. Oh, wow. Misty, sorry I didn't wave to you, but uh, it went it went up too high, so. Hi, Nancy. So, anyway. All right, so pre-marketing your listings. It's a great idea. It's a great way to get exposure out there. Thank you, thank you. It's a great way to get exposure out there and do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and in the seller's market right now, it's great. We yep. do this We do this within our office, too. If, if we're getting a good listing, we know it's going to be a hot listing, we'll put, email it out to the agents in the office and stuff like that. Unless that's not supposed to, and then we don't do that. Yeah, I was actually talking to Craig, like, you know, videos in general. I think we're going to be a year doing our videos here in June, uh, I think. We're going to have an anniversary. I know, we're going to have balloons in the back. Yeah, I'm so excited. That would be fun. We should do balloons or we something. Should, That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Okay, number four. Go live at open houses, and this is really fun anyway, especially if you have the minute when there's not a lot of people there. Yeah. I think you were actually the first one I knew that was doing this, and I would do an open house and have no one show up, and she would do an open house and have like 15 people show up. Yeah. It's crazy. I think I try to do the lives before the open house is supposed to start, and literally, I think the last one I did without a selfie stick, so it was probably like Blair Witch, but hey, it was starting. And uh, so try to use a selfie stick so it stays a little more smooth, obviously, when you're doing it. Um, and you know, walk yourself around the house and give everybody a tour while you're talking about the house and the benefits of the house and things, whether somebody watches it right then or it brings them into the open house, they can at least share that with their friends and family. Hey, you know, John Smith, we, what do you think about this house or whatnot? It's a way to get people talking about your listing. I thought you said John Snow. No, I said Smith, but Craig's all about the waves today. Oh, with the waves. I'm waving. I'm waving crazy today. I've never, we've never waved to anyone before. No. We're, we're going on a it wave kick cool. right now. Okay. Are we done with number four? Yeah. Are I think you so. done? Are you finally? Oh, gosh. You're All talking right. a lot today. Gosh. Number three. <laughs> Nicole, field this one. Market your services. Yep. Craig didn't know that I that we have a group video that you can see on Zillow or on our YouTube channel or on our Facebook oh, what? channel. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
Um, and we just watched it actually before this video because he didn't, he was asking me questions about like what, you know, basically telling a little bit about yourself, about the group, like why you're important, what services you offer, things like that. Hey, it was actually a really good video and I thought it was pretty Aww, informative. Was nice. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Re replay that next time uh, you want to murder me. Not basically. Okay. <laughs> More services. You know, we can do so much with video now. People watch video. You can do it faster. You don't have to do a big setup and stuff. You don't have to joke around for the first four minutes of a video like we did today. Mm -hmm. um, but you can market your services and you can get a lot done in video. And I think a lot more comes across than if you just text someone or something with some emojis and stuff. So, number sure. two is all Nicole post testimonials. So, in that team video that I made, I also had some client testimonials. They were in the video with us. Um, it's always a good thing if you have clients that really love you, if they can actually be on the video with you, um, and talking about why they like you and why they think you do a good job as a realtor. Why are you doing psycho eyes? Oh, I crossed them. Did you though? Yeah. I, I thought, I thought you did like the bug eye, like. Oh, I think I, I do that too when I cross them. Oh, stop. That's yeah. freaking me out. It feels weird. Ugh. Well, it's weird. Your face is blocked by that. So maybe we should switch sides next time. No, I think that'd be weird. Are you, will you can continue with post-testimonials, please? I said what I was going to say. Do you have any, oh, anything to add to that? No, you know what? I, I disagree with Nicole on this one. And I'll oh, tell yeah, you why. I forgot about that. I don't think we should, you know, us doing a good job for our customers is what we get paid to do. That's our job, you know? Mm -hmm. So making them take time out of their day to post a testimonial about how great we are. I don't know. I, and I know a lot of agents do it, so that's cool. Um, I'm just saying personally, I disagree with Nicole. I won't be asking my customers to do that. So that's my jam. See, and my opinion on it is, you know, your referral network is where your gold mine is at, right? As I agree. Buffini says that. I agree. And so I don't think there's anything wrong with my clients were more than happy. Both those clients in that video were more than happy to do it for me. So I felt weird asking them at first, but now that I'm better at video, it'd probably be a lot easier. No, that's cool. And I'll tell you what, I, you know, I see the value in it. And what if one of your customers wants to do that? Yeah. You know, yeah. what if they want to? So I'm not saying, I'm just saying I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask them to do that. But if they wanted to, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not like I'm forcing testimonial videos down my client's throats. Okay. Just saying for the record. Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not Nothing doing to that, say folks. to that. Not Nothing doing to that. say to that. No. Huh? <laughs> Staying away from that one. Yeah. Number one. This should be, now this is something yeah. that, the technology is so old, it drives me nuts when people don't do this. Virtual tours should be on every listing. You know, you can do it, Zillow, the Premier Agent app is very easy, and I'm not, this isn't sponsored by Zillow or anything like that, but you could do there, it, they do a quick two minute virtual tour, you can pause the video and play it, they play background music in the back, so you don't even have to worry about talking. Um, what is the most annoying thing as a buyer that you think when you go to hit the virtual tour and it's just the photos of the property being played over and over again? Oh, with it's the smaller, not a with virtual the smaller, tour. The yes. small view box that bounces around one photo. Like, <laughs> yes. like that's all like, you can see. And oh, it look fades at this. Like it's a seconds. virtual tour. Look out. Mind blowing. I feel like I have AOL dial-up when I'm watching those. Seriously, guys, like take the effort. Whoa, shots fired at AOL. What's uh, that? <laughs> whatever. Oh, oh did you say break. Google? Give them a break. Well, Google um, wouldn't do anything crazy like AOL. That's not a virtual tour, folks. That's not what that means. All it's right. to get the flow of the house. You can you can tell I'm passionate about this one. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like to do virtual tours on all my listings. I'm not going to so. slow you down. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. But, you know, that is what a virtual tour is. A buyer needs to get a flow of the home. That is the whole point. Not just seeing the same pictures they've already looked at over and over again. Feeling the flow. Yeah. Liking it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And besides, you can use your phone. You can use your camera and just it's take really video. It takes, it takes a very little. And yeah. let's say you don't know how to edit video. Kind of like us, right? Yeah. Obviously, I do this thing for, we don't know how to do a, we don't know how to put a number on the Ooh, screen. we should get cards, maybe. Oh, remember what, I wrote that down in the very beginning and I thought they were backwards. Well, you thought they were backwards. Yeah, okay. Anywho, um, you should have a virtual tour all the time. Yeah. I think they're really important nowadays. Uh, buyers are seeing probably less homes than we used to because of how tight the seller market is. And they need to be able to get an idea of the house before they waste their time going in there when they could have seen something else that they may have needed to see an hour before so they actually got that house with the offers hey you know what sean thank you for your question there do virtual tours have the potential to undersell a home i didn't think about that i guess i guess it could what if you don't 
what if you did the tour very quickly or, yeah. or didn't do it or the house wasn't prepped correctly and and yeah what if something comes off negative I guess that's where that's where the experience of being a real estate agent for you know um, and, and doing consistently doing virtual tours I guess I guess you can see you know it's kind of like the same thing with photos I'll tell you what I had a listing where the agent took photos and, and this 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 seller was very organized but he had his boxer like boxer briefs your boxer shorts <laughs> on hangers in his closet and they were they were actually color coordinated like it was amazing i've never seen someone so organized right but the agent took a photo and put him on the mls and the internet and that's crazy like i would have never taken a photo of someone's master bedroom like their closet like that especially if they i mean it was like the focal point of the picture yeah that's crazy so so, so that could be i guess what we're saying is we could be wrong well nicole could be wrong no, i'm no. pretty much always right yeah, okay Sometimes what? Hanson's wrong. Stop talking. So Brad's comment yes. of same as photos, right? I agree with you. They have to be good quality. Like you can't go in with your, you know, iPhone 3 and go in there and like videotape stuff and think that it's going to come out good. You need to actually use equipment that is where it's going to come out decent versus you, you know, taking your photos from your iPhone out of your car. You know, it has to be a real something that you put an effort in and to make sure it looks nice. And that's another thing, misleading photographs sometimes can be bad too. Like if you have a really fancy camera and you have a wide angle lens and you know, you, you think that this mass, or you know, the bathroom's like, oh gosh, this has gotta be like 20 by 20. And you get there and it's like a two by two powder room, but you use some crazy like fisheye lens and it's just crazy, you know. Um, so I guess, I guess always be careful. I think virtual tours help with that a little bit. Yeah, I think so, so. too. Um, but I think overall we're in that day and age of technology. There really is an excuse for a listing not to have a virtual tour. That's I my agree. opinion. I agree. Yep. So you heard it there, folks. A quick recap. Oh, and Brad, the picture thing too, by the way, that was one of the first videos we wanted to do were examples of bad photos. But again, <laughs> we don't know how to edit video. So, we're so just, we did it. We don't know how to do that. We'd have to like print them out and show you like, look how bad this is. You know, all right. Our anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, and the, the printer that Nicole manually refills the ink with like, you know syringes and stuff yeah whatever but she saves yeah, four dollars like on ink so you know jokes on us all More right everyone thanks have a great weekend happy <laughs> easter to everyone unless you're watching this when it's not easter um then you can watch it some other time yeah for sure happy easter everybody um i don't really have anything else to say i don't think we should just say like happy every holiday and then that way it's like hey, hey happy birthday you know who i'm talking to <laughs> I did mean to bring Easter Bunny ears to make him wear them again, like the last last I show, but I them. forgot. If I if I sit just like this, there's something behind my head. That the finger thing looked kind of cool though, like when you did it, it looked kind of cool. What thing? When you did the when you pointed at the camera, the finger thing. That thing? No. Oh. I don't know what she's talking about. Now she's being weird, or now she's being weird. <laughs> I meant he's exactly. being weird. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Week.